Hey guys, so as you can see here on this setup, uh, our cable situation is a mess. Uh, on our main telescope, the, the bigger refractor, uh, we have a, a perfect, amazing looking uh, cable management, but here it's just a huge mess. It's a little crazy. So about two weeks ago, we got an email uh, from somebody who makes 3D printed accessories uh, like this one here uh, for mostly ZW cameras, QHRI cameras, and even the ASI Air. So we're going to uh, try these today and see if they make a difference in this crazy setup. And hopefully the cables will be uh, looking really, really neat. They'll magically disappear. We'll Just have kidding. a link. <laughs> we'll have a link below. By the way, we make nothing from the links. By the way, guys, it's on Etsy. So right, uh, we just love trying new stuff, you know. Just, and uh, if yeah. if this helps us with our cable management, good, because like it's a very affordable one. So hopefully they're good. Let's try. Okay, so we're going to uh, use the camera ones first. So let's get those two out, and we're going to uh, let me see. We're going to attach them on the cameras. So there should be two on the camera. So one at the, near the back and one near the front. All right, so it just goes in like that, I'm guessing. Okay, near the front. And then one perfect more fit. near the back. Yeah, it's literally a perfect fit. Okay, so we have both of these on. Okay, that was fast. Okay, and the ASI Air, um, so it's going to be very fast, I'm guessing. Just slide them like that on each side. Yeah, it's super quick. And here there is hopefully enough space uh, for both. Or well, if I just leave it on the back here, I should be fine. Okay, so now we put all the cables back and we're going to do our best to make them as neat as possible using this accessory. And uh, we'll see you guys in just two seconds with a much more beautiful setup. One. And we do have a beautiful setup now. As you can see, uh, all the cables are neat. The only three cables that we did not attach on this is the one going from the ASI Air to the battery, because since the telescope is going to slow around, we have to make sure that this cable is free. And also the two cables going from the ASI Air to the mount, uh, because once again, is going to slow around and stop, so we don't want the cables to get too tight. But everything else is now uh, very yeah. tidy. <laughs> awesome. All right, guys, so as you can see, um, this is done. Uh, we are very happy with it. So if you guys want to check it out, we have the links below for all of these uh, different products. Um, so the one thing that concerns me is be careful when you use this because you don't want to make your cables too tight for two reasons. One, you don't want to break your cables, uh, so like going back and forth in here, for example. Mm -hmm. And second, make sure you leave uh, some, some loose slack. cables, for, yeah, some slack for your mount and your battery, uh, because remember, your mount is going to slew around all night, so. You don't uh, want your very tight cables to get yeah. trapped anywhere Be or snapped. Um, but besides that, um, I think it's a really good thing to have, especially if you're able to keep it on uh, permanently. So I, I don't think we can because we have to put this back in you know, the case. So I'm wondering if we can just maybe take the SIR off but leave all those cables on it forever. That would be great because it's a bit time consuming to, to put the cables back and forth. But, but just um, like plop, plop, pop, pop, pop. So uh, let us know if you like this thing. I mean, yeah, what do you think about it? Like, is it, is it crazy, great. innovative? I don't know. I think 3D printing is really, really, I mean, more and more helpful in this hobby. And it's really great. I mean, I think everyone's gonna want a 3D printer now, so. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so we'll see you next time. And uh, nice. kiss, guys.